In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. During this Mass, we like to pray for the following intentions. We like to pray for one of our teachers, brother, Sir Gregory's brother, Mr. Hector Karmonoid, who is going for a surgery this afternoon. We ask the Lord, surrender him, and the entire team that will be operating on him to the Lord and God's protection. We also pray for the intentions of Iban Drillin, CM Lee and friends who are traveling back home from Calcutta. They had asked for prayers yesterday. We pray and ask the Lord to be blessed and to guide and protect them. We pray for Bonnie Sonas and Cecilia Lindo who celebrated their 27th wedding anniversary and we pray for their family, their children, that the Lord may keep them united and in love and holiness. We let you also pray for Lena, Mary and family for all her intentions, one of our staff in our hostel. We pray that the Lord may protect them and all their intentions be blessed, the children and everyone. We let you also request your prayers for one of our students who had passed out from here, from Afghanistan, Narula. He had called us today requesting special prayer. His brother was kidnapped in Afghanistan and they've been trying to find him and there was a lot of ransom demanded. We surrender this family and this entire condition to the Lord. May the Lord act and bring his best healing on them. Let us also remember one of our Students Leonardeka, who celebrates his birthday today, and also Nixon, the nephew of Sister Lita. We pray that the Lord may bless them, keep them always faithful to his call and in his life. And we pray for the departed souls of Gautam Kakoti, Gabriel Marbiniang, Bernard Marbiniang, Proli Marbiniang, R.K. Patir, Kanjan Patir, Ignatius Dakar, Elizabeth Lakdong and Elizabeth Lingdo. We also remember all other intentions that we have in our mind and in this Mass and in this celebration we want to really pray and ask the Lord's blessings on migrant laborers especially who are deprived of their daily work, many of them who are on transit moving, many of them who have been affected, pray for their families and for all their condition I'm sure let our prayer be an answer before them to the Lord. Let's ask pardon for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O 
O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Jesus, grant your people constantly see in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against the Apostles. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came crowding round him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day he and Barnabas went off to Darbe. Having preached the good news in that town and made a considerable number of disciples, they went back through Lystra and Iconium to Antioch. They put fresh heart into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith. We all have to experience many hardships, they said, before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches they appointed elders, and with prayer and fasting they commended them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. They passed through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. Then, after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia, and from there sailed for Antioch, where they had originally been commanded by the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On their arrival they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the pagans. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Be Let your response be Alleluia. Alleluia. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your response? Alleluia. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Your response? Alleluia. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever and ages unending. Your response? Alleluia. Gospel acclamation. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory Chapter 14, verses 27 to 31. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I live with you, my own peace I give to you. A peace the world cannot give. This is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer, because the Prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father, and that I am doing exactly what the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise These days after the Easter, we always read from the, the first reading, mostly from the Acts of the Apostles. And I'm sure as we are all these days 
reading scripture this is a book that we can concentrate much we find the entire working of the disciples the post resurrection preparing us also for the feast of pentecost the reading was leading us to that the days are coming near and when you look at especially the acts of the apostles what you will find what we will find very clearly is how on the call of the church takes its root grows and spreads but look deeper we will find something you know? first there is a wonder they are amused then there is ignore indifference then there is opposition and the journey continues i think it was gandhi ji who said when he started his movement of satyagraha he said when you bring anything you know when there is a change when there is a new idea that comes first they will ignore you then they will oppose you then they will follow you you know so first is ignored then opposition third they will follow you that is what happened with the entire movement of satyagraha gandhi's philosophy i'm sure we can apply this look at the church how it grew you know, the story of the apostles first they ignored them they were indifferent then there was opposition the story of what we will be reading this these days is only this the sufferings the persecution that the apostles faced paul's entire story will be read in the coming days then of course the glory of the lord comes i'm sure not only in the life of apostles we can take it each of us that is our christian calling you know if i want to be different if i want to stand as a witness to the lord wherever whatever profession i am be it in my family be it in my religious life be it my priestly ministry or be it in the world as a christian following christ i think these are the steps that we will go through first you will be ignored persist with christ then there will be suffering endure it for christ third there will be of course they will follow you and when they follow you give the glory to christ and when christ is the glory i'm sure that will lead us to today's second re- the gospel reading you know the lord is again it is the context of he leaving also preparing us for the feast of ascension and the pentecost now the lord tells what i give you is the peace of divine peace not one that the world will give i'm sure all of us in our heart there is a longing for to be temporal peace what comes here and then what we need now and then no but the lord tells us something that is divine something that is lasting and his way is different and the glory that awaits up in heaven is his final reward as we prepare especially for the feast of the pentecost these days let's make this prayer lord let your divine peace come in us let your presence be in our hearts let us understand that you are in us and when we have the lord within i am sure when we have the spirit within the lord will guide us and we will understand whether we are ignored where we are opposed i am sure the lord will take us to follow him and to give glory to him as we take part in the holy eucharist as the lord comes into us let us ask him to enrich us to fill us with his divine peace a little more
Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our Lord and the Lord of His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such a great joy, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruits in perpetual joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift your heart to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord. But this is time above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to life in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, whose is in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Gautam Kakoti, Abriel Marbiniang, Bernard Marbiniang, Proli Marbiniang, R.K. Patir, Kanjan Patir, Ignatius Dakar, Elizabeth Lakdong, Elizabeth Lingto, and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we say this prayer, asking for God's kingdom to come, many of our sisters, friends are making their retreats. We like to remember them. Then may this be a time where they feel the call of the Lord, the closeness of the Lord and peace of the Lord in their heart. As we pray for the coming of God's kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for God's divine peace. As we say this prayer, let us pray that we may really understand what is divine peace and not the worldly one. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my own peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy one reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins, who grants us his eternal peace. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. Ask we ask the Lord to come into us spiritually. Ask the Lord to take away all that disturbs us from within. May all that is worldly be removed. May his divine, lasting, eternal peace enter into us. May we understand that his peace is what is divine, that is lasting, that we long for alone. May it fill us, may it fill our families, may it fill our communities. Six hundred and twenty nine, six two nine.
what has passed her lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. Look with mercy upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we bow and kneel for the adoration, let's truly pray that the Lord may fill us with this divine, lasting, eternal peace. Blessed and praise be every moment. Staying before the Lord, let's offer our life, our communities, our families, everything to the Lord. There are many who are troubled, especially these days, thinking about their family, maybe sickness in their families, locked down, alone, taking care of the sick, no opportunity to move around. We offer this, all this today to the Lord and especially people who are praying for children, people who have gone astray in our families, people who are in a way separated, away, maybe in pain, in sickness, some of them who are addicted, there are parents, mothers, fathers, siblings, praying for such people. Let's ask the Lord to give them really this peace. Let's ask the Lord to really hear our prayer. And as we say this divine rosary, we surrender everything to the Lord. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty the Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he was redeemed from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the last king. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For faith, hope, and love, hail Mary, for the Lord praise the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it is truly, and it is all the time. Amen. In this rosary, let us pray for all the migrant workers and all those who are journeying with this. The sorrowful mysteries, first mystery, Jesus prays in the Garden of Gethsemane. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, all the doubt and time. Praise the Lord, to the holy names of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. O my Jesus, give us justice, save us from the fires of hell, and give us the hope of heaven, especially in the sorrows of your mercy. Second mystery: Jesus is scourged at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, the Lord be with thee. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of 
sinners. Now at the hour of our death, Amen.
Jesus died for our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed and praise be every moment. Be the Blessed and praise be every moment. Be the Blessed and praise be every moment. Be the Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Pray for the world as we say, Most merciful and triumph God. We come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you in trust, for you are the power of hope. We place before you this season and present our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring us to our doctors, give understanding to scientists, and not our way of business of transaction or security. Comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome, 
those who have gathered into the eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. As we say this prayer to the Holy Family, we pray for all families, especially there are many of our near and dear ones traveling, moving back home. Ask the Lord and the intercession of the Holy Family. Pray to the Holy Family. Joseph, we had received some intentions on Sunday. It was for yesterday. We missed to pray. We are remembered them today. We are sorry. One kind request when you send your prayer request, kindly add the names. And also, if you can send to the number given at the end of the video, because sometimes you send to my personal number, what happens there since we forward videos, we miss out the day's intentions. So forward it to the number given at the end of the Mass and also make it reach before 6 in the morning of the day. God bless you. 